<laughs> Hi, this is your boy Terry. My username across the internet is surpassing Google. And this is another breakthrough watch party. Uh, you can call it a reaction video as well. Um, basically, we'll be watching a video together. Uh, but we will be evolving our in our human in the process. Or at least I'll be doing that in the process. So uh, we're going to be watching a video uh, with the essence being to learn something to come out anew you know at the end of the video we should be a new version of us and I have a booklet here an empty page like I do with my other breakthrough watch parties I'm going to fill it with a proclamation which I'll reveal at the end of the video with hopes that this proclamation manages to inspire someone you know, enable someone to find the ever missing piece to their puzzle and uh, yes, adjust the world. You know, I feel that uh, YouTube videos or videos in general can be used to this effect. You know, as a means to understudy the true state of the world, you know, understudy the elements of fellow humans and, uh, you know, evolve in our human. Anyway, the video is a fun video. I've not watched it before. I just saw it with so many views um, on the Philippine trending page. I'm located in the Philippines and so we'll just go ahead and watch the video. I'm not going to pause the video. The entirety of the video will play through. Um, then we'll discuss at the end of the video. Uh, basically, it's a video about uh, building a swimming pool water slide the primitive way um, i don't know what country this took place in but it looks like in asia likely southeast asia and maybe something like this is doable in the philippines anyway we'll learn a lot and we'll discuss whatever we've learned um, at the end of the video so let's go i'll be watching the video on my phone and displaying it on the screen for your merriment so let's go uh, let me play the video now. It's possible to do some commentary because the video doesn't have too much audio. I'm not sure this is Philippines. This may be Indonesia. Or who knows? You know, there are many Southeast. Uh, Southeast Asian nations that you know where the people look alike I did a, a prank video you can see it on my channel um, you know I used an assistant and basically it was <laughs> we're asking for water slides in the bathtub of a hotel So those are bamboo cups that you just saw. I mean, the video is sped up. This may have taken some weeks. You know, just digging alone.
<laughs> you're mixing it up with uh, some primitive survival I mean forest survival tips so they just boiled some eggs now these are likely quail eggs or maybe not quail eggs uh, there are some other chicken very small sized chicken this is not Philippines this is not Philippines Philippines uh, Filipinas have a different style Uh, but this video can very easily be reenacted in the Philippines. I mean, the landscape in the Philippines, it's, it's just similar with rainforest, many bamboos, and uh, water. That's all available in the Philippines. So this is very replicatable. Not so much in Manila, other parts of the Philippines, like the outskirts. Oh gosh, odds. I, I don't know. I don't I have to find a way to make odds keepable. Into the dark. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if it's some roofing or if it's a pool. I don't see where roofing is needed. Or maybe to create the structures for the slides. I'm not very sure. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> this is really hard work. I mean, and innovation, improvisation, um, labor, <laughs> but it's fulfilling. I, I, I grasp what they're feeling in terms of fulfillment. And this tool, the, this tool they are using is very effective. You know, I know some other locations where they will attempt this using shovels and, you know, that's more hectic. This, uh, this tool is very much more effective. I mean, in some nations, they'll use a digger, a very heavy digger with two sides and a shovel. So, um, more hectic, really. I, 
I, I, I'm still lost uh, when it comes with regards to the bamboo stuff. Looks like um, they built an underground place to sleep. So there's a likelihood that they stayed in the forest or over the course of this. I mean, that's how they're presenting it. So they built a place for them to sleep, like an underground abode. And it's just now that they're building the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm getting what's going on right now. I wonder if they will plaster the inner side of the pool to retain water. Well, let's see. Because to plaster that, you need some external stuff, like cement and... I think an advantage, the soil here appears to be soft. I mean, uh, maybe it's uh, there's some rain, it's keeping the soil moist. I mean, because the digging is, I mean, it's not looking as hard as I've seen in other places. And you know, heating bamboo into the ground with another bamboo, I mean, that makes the ground soft. A lot are very quickly made. This is shockingly amazing. So much attention to detail for something that's primitively done. I mean, <laughs> to stick the ladder to the ground, that's attention to detail. This is a fun job really, I mean it's, oh a cement, so I said it's some external bodies. I thought they would just use, uh, you know, forest supplies, but there's some cement in the mix. But no external tool, so no metal, just... Oh, there is the, what they used to dig. Well, the rest of the tools are all, you know, forest made. Okay, they're off to sleep now. <laughs> And some protection from you know animals and stuff. But I doubt there are animals here. Maybe some snakes, but oh. uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out what they're doing here, like Maybe trying to direct water. It's just, I mean, but it's going to be. Oh gosh, this is interesting. <laughs> water into the pool using connecting bamboos together. That's interesting. This is interesting, really. And then giving it some height so that there is gravity leading the water downwards. 
It's interesting, really. Oh, but the slide is made of cement. It's going to be painful. I mean, the slide area is made of cement. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be painful, really. And it needs some smoothening. But you know kids, they don't mind the pain. I mean, if they had to do this, they don't mind the bumps in the road, on the road. They will just do it and have fun. <laughs> this is comedy. Even Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean didn't do this this much creation or creativity. <laughs> this is the Mr. Bean effect. No name, no no voice, nothing. Let me stop the video here. So that's the end of the video. It was cool to watch, really. I didn't know I'd enjoy it. I mean, just based off of the title. Um, I didn't know that I'll enjoy it this much, but it was a worthy watch. I mean, so much labor and... Um, anyway, um, it took my attention. I wasn't able to write anything, but I'm going to write something. I, I drew something from the video and I'm going to end up writing a one-liner which I'm going to pronounce or reveal in a moment. In the meantime, I'll just talk a bit about uh, some of the beauty of the video. Anyway, I saw the expanse of creation once again and of pertinence to me is, you know, the humans. You know, I saw humans in the video and um, that's my interest, especially when it comes to my utmost interest when it comes to earthly creation and exploring earthly creation. Of course, there's a scenery made up of the forest and, you know, the, but of particular interest to me in this moment in my life is humans. You know, I pay attention to their very elements, even if there, there is no speech, you know, I pay attention to details when it comes to humans and um, anyway I won't talk much about them in this video I want to keep this video short because the video itself is very lengthy I'm just going to write my one-liner and reveal it um, just a moment I'm going to keep this very, very short um, and we're going to apply towards breakthrough. Uh, we all have different definitions when it comes to breakthrough, um, but I'm referring here to breakthrough. Um, something missing from the world is uh, breakthrough in human. I'm not going to expatiate on that, but here is my proclamation. I'm just hoping that it's visible. Um, anyway, I said dig, dig, dig. Be diggest. So I created a word out of dig, 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 you know. And this is something I tell people is something that we don't get to do. We no longer get to do, especially as we grow into adulthood. You know, when we're children, curiosity exists. Uh, many many things exist that we lose touch on as we grow older especially when we start to be ingrained in the curriculums of the world the schools and stuff like that you know we start to lose out on our innate being and evolving that aspect to us you know 
and this is something that we don't do too much of we don't dig 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 whether on our behalf or on behalf of another person and even when it comes to finding information finding fine stone anything that's fine it requires a measure of digging you know but not just digging 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 you know become diggest you know so uh, there is a measure of persistence that will need to hold sway you know a measure of grit a measure of grind you know hurdles surmounting mountains of odds and establishing this ease of pertinence in our pursuit of breakthrough you know just like the guys digging 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 you know maybe weeks or months of work for a moment of fulfillment or breakthrough um, and especially too in today's world digging on behalf of others you know listening to the undertone of fellow humans paying attention to their very elements you know this is these are the things google and facebook does and control the world or influence the world have billions in revenue per year billions of dollars in revenue per year all they really do is dig 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 of humans you know they pay attention to your elements put cookies in your browser and you emanate your inner self they process this thing refine it and then money begins to seek them you know that's basically what they do so each person has a mind it's high time that we took control of our mind and that becomes powerful stuff you know that brings breakthrough towards us and especially when we start to apply this towards fellow humans I'm telling you if you have 10 brothers 10 generations fixtures breakthrough is attainable you will move and displace Mount Everest by 10 kilometers at 10 kilometers an hour I'm going to stop there I I'm just starting my video making for today and uh, you know my mood is not yet triggered I mean I'm still very sluggish at the moment so I'll just keep this video short and upload it as a tease and on to the next one my username is surpassing Google across the internet uh, you can contact me you know I live in Manila we can hook up or just contact me let's collaborate if you're seeking the ever missing piece to your puzzle let's discuss you know connect spirits together and bring about a fixing or breakthrough especially to things that are humanly solvable you know we can't spend forever seeking you know <laughs> seeking breakthrough for very simple humanly solvable things you know you know there are some things and many things that we cannot solve you know but there are some things that we take forever suffering for that is solvable you know, especially if we apply of ourselves you know connect be brothers you know many things are fixable um, so contact me my email and uh, I have a social media platform it's a startup that you can join me on links will be underneath this video make sure to stay awesome